How to Win Friends and Influence People is a self-help book written by Dale Carnegie and published in 1936. It has since become a classic in the field of interpersonal communication and human relations. The book provides practical advice on how to build relationships, improve communication skills, and influence others in both personal and professional settings. It emphasizes the importance of being genuine, showing empathy, and being a good listener in order to build trust and rapport with others. The book also provides tips on handling criticism and difficult people, as well as ways to make others feel valued and appreciated. Its timeless advice has made it a popular resource for individuals looking to improve their social skills and build meaningful connections with others. Be genuine and empathetic. Carnegie emphasizes the importance of being sincere and showing genuine interest in others. This helps to build trust and establish a strong connection with the people you interact with. Be a good listener. Listening is an important part of building relationships and influencing others. Carnegie suggests that people are more likely to be persuaded by someone who listens to them and takes their opinions into account. Make others feel important. Carnegie stresses the importance of making others feel valued and appreciated. This can be done by paying attention to their needs and desires and acknowledging their accomplishments. Handle criticism constructively. Carnegie provides advice on how to handle criticism in a positive manner. He suggests that instead of getting defensive, it's important to understand the other person's point of view and learn from their feedback. Avoid negative behavior. Carnegie advises against using negative behaviors, such as criticism or belittling others, as they can cause harm to relationships and damage your reputation. Seek common ground. Carnegie emphasizes the importance of finding common ground with others in order to build relationships and influence their opinions. Practice and persistence. Carnegie stresses that building effective relationships and influencing others takes time and practice. He encourages readers to apply the principles outlined in the book on a daily basis in order to see positive results. Be optimistic. Carnegie suggests that having an optimistic outlook on life can make you a more attractive and likable person. By focusing on the positive, you can build stronger relationships and create a more positive environment. Smile. Smiling is an important part of nonverbal communication and can help to build rapport with others. Carnegie suggests that a smile can convey friendliness and openness, making others more likely to trust and cooperate with you. Give honest and sincere praise. Carnegie believes that praising others for their achievements and accomplishments is an effective way to build relationships and influence people. He suggests that praise should be specific, genuine, and delivered in a timely manner. Show interest in others. Carnegie believes that showing a genuine interest in others can help to build relationships and establish trust. He suggests asking questions, finding common interests, and making an effort to get to know others on a personal level. Be willing to compromise. Carnegie believes that compromising with others is an important part of building successful relationships and resolving conflicts. He suggests being open to different viewpoints and finding creative solutions that benefit everyone involved. Continuously improve. Carnegie encourages readers to continuously work on improving their relationships and communication skills. He suggests seeking feedback from others, learning from your mistakes, and continually refining your approach. Be sincere and authentic. Carnegie believes that being sincere and authentic is key to building trust and positive relationships with others. He suggests being true to yourself and avoiding pretense in order to establish genuine connections with others. Avoid arguments. Carnegie suggests avoiding arguments and confrontations, 
as they can damage relationships and create negative feelings. He encourages finding common ground and finding peaceful solutions to disagreements. Be a good storyteller. Carnegie believes that storytelling can be a powerful tool for influencing others and building relationships. He suggests incorporating personal anecdotes and experiences into conversations to make them more engaging and memorable. Use humor. Carnegie believes that using humor can help to build rapport with others and lighten the mood in tense situations. He suggests using humor in a tasteful and appropriate manner and avoiding humor that might be offensive or hurtful to others. Provide value. Carnegie suggests that providing value to others is a key way to build strong relationships and influence people. This can be done by offering help, providing resources, or sharing expertise in areas where you have knowledge or skills. Be flexible. Carnegie believes that being flexible and open-minded is key to building strong relationships and resolving conflicts. He suggests being willing to adapt to new situations and being open to new ideas and perspectives. In conclusion, How to Win Friends and Influence People provides practical advice on how to build relationships, improve communication skills, and influence others in both personal and professional settings. The book emphasizes the importance of being genuine, showing empathy, and being a good listener, as well as making others feel valued and appreciated. The takeaways from the book provide a foundation for building strong, positive relationships and influencing others in a positive manner. By applying these principles, individuals can improve their interpersonal skills, build meaningful connections with others, and achieve their goals in both their personal and professional lives. How to Win Friends and Influence People is a classic book that has stood the test of time and continues to be relevant today. The principles outlined in the book provide a solid foundation for building positive relationships and influencing others in a constructive and effective manner. I would highly recommend this book to anyone looking to improve their interpersonal skills, build strong relationships, and achieve their goals. The principles outlined in the book are not only useful for personal relationships, but also for professional interactions and achieving success in the workplace.